All right, everyone, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, I thought I'd do a quick video showing you a few things that I've got into the collection in the past few weeks, uh, original items, books, and also a reproduction item. So here's some of the original items I've got in the past few weeks. As you can see, there is a helmet in the middle of the screen, and that is a World War II British Mark II Brody. Um, really, really nice, 1939 dated with the camo net still on it. Um, I will make an individual video on that at some point, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail now, but yeah, a really nice piece. And as you can see, there's also three medals in front of you, which are part of the set on the right, which you might have already seen in a different video. Basically what it is, is on the far left and the far right, you have the defense medal and the war medal. I've just got them recently and they're part of the set. So basically all I've done is completed a set that I already had, which was a, uh, a family piece. And these were found in the house with the rest of them. So yeah, that's just a little bit of the original British items. I'll also show you some other things I've picked up. All right, so I've had this for a while now. And if you follow me on my Instagram, you've probably seen it. I haven't showed it in a video, so I thought I'd let you all have a look at it. This is a World War II Luftwaffe map of the, some part of the Eastern Front in Ukraine, I believe. Um, so yeah, really, really nice this. Uh, you've obviously got some of the contents here showing how far Baku is, for example. As you know, I don't speak German, so I can't tell you everything it says on here. But when I make an in-detail video, I'll obviously go into what everything says. But yeah really really nice really good condition apart from the bottoms in a little bit tatty condition but really not that bad at all there i believe it is a 1941 map but this is a 1943 version of it or oh, the original uh, was made in 41 and this is 43 i don't know because i don't speak german i haven't done research into it yet um, but when i make a video i will um so yeah really really nice map uh, had that for a while now but i thought i'd show you I have had a few books come in in the last few weeks. On the left, you can see Blood Red Snow, which is the memoirs of a German soldier on the Eastern Front. I haven't had time to read it yet, but it seems like a really interesting book. In the middle, we've got In Time of War, which is about a ship that my great granddad was actually on. And so eventually, it'll be a long time from now, I will make a video about the ship uh, using his medals as well when I do get them. Um, on the right, we've got German Army Uniforms and Insignia, 1933 to 45, which is a really good book. Um, and I'll show you a little bit now because I know a lot of you will be interested to see it. So let's have a quick look through it. This one is the 76 edition. There are lots of different editions of this book. Um, it is mostly black and white, but it's still extremely useful. Um, I'll open just some random pages. Really, really good book. And as you know, military, it's just so important to have the books for what you collect. Um, so I definitely recommend it if you're interested in this sort of thing. As you can see, lots of black and white, but there are some parts of the book which are colour, as you can see. Um, really really good book definitely definitely recommend it and so yeah this is just a quick look through it I haven't had a full look through it myself actually but I will actually get time to doing that um, but I have been recommended it by all sorts of people and finally this is a reproduction M40 German Stahlhelm and I know I don't often show reproductions on the channel uh, but I thought some of you still might have been interested um, as some of you might know I have wanted a German combat helmet for a while now but they are slightly too expensive for me at the minute especially in the past few years, they've just shot up in price. And so I've just decided to get a reproduction. I know it's not perfect and there's lots of things that need to be done to it, particularly the chin strap, uh, bits of the liner, etc. But it does the job for me, you know, um, in the future I probably will get a combat helmet, but right now, this is fine for me at the minute. Won't be showing it in any more videos because it is a reproduction and I like to keep everything original here. Um, but yeah, nice piece and I thought some of you might have wanted to see it. So before I end this video, I just wanted to talk about a few things that have happened. Um, in the past week, as some of you might have noticed, the subscribers on this channel have massively increased. And I know subscribers aren't everything, but it does show that people are enjoying my content. And so I just want to say a big thanks to everyone for that. I really appreciate it, whether you've been here from the start or you've just found the channel. Big thanks and more videos to come in 2022. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the community tab that I've recently been able to use. Um, I have been using it. Um, this video, I asked people, do you want to see what I've got in the past few weeks? And the majority said yes, and so I've made this video. So I might be putting more things up there, so you might want to have a look at that. And so yeah, thanks a lot for watching the video today. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.